breaking the cycle of addiction is, is not easy. Um, many pastors um, struggle um, because they don't know what to do with people who are addicted. And I think there are many people in congregations today who are addicted who are hiding it um, and living with the effects of it, especially sexual addictions. That's become a, an endemic, epidemic problem. Um, and, and to begin this, the breaking the cycle, essentially, is we have to come to a place of realizing that we can't do it on our own. And the model of Alcoholics Anonymous, of, I recognize I'm powerless against this addiction. I need, I need God's help. I need other people's help. Uh, that comes from, I think, a biblical view of reality. Um, so confession to God, um, confession to another person, um, and asking for, having the, the willingness and the humility to ask for help from someone else. Um, and then uh, having, having done that, the, what's involved, I think, in the biblical model, which comes out in the 12 steps in a, a secular form, you know, they talk about a higher power, but they do talk about the need to ask forgiveness for those you have wronged and to make reconciliation in some way to, to them um, and to uh, cultivate your relationship with, uh, with higher power, as they would say, which we would obviously say is cultivating your relationship with the Lord um, and being accountable to others. Um, so I think in, in the addictions, I work particularly in the area of sexual addiction with um, and uh, we have a number of groups for, we have about eight groups in St. Louis in an organization called First Light uh, for men who are struggling with sexual addiction and then two groups for w the wives of some of those men because they have their own struggles. But the group, being in individual counseling is really important, but the group is incredibly important because they're, they're able to confess to one another. They they don't feel the same depth and intensity of shame because they're accepted with all their brokenness there, which is in a sense what the church should model, that we're all broken, we're all sinners, we're all addicts to one form of sin or another. Um, so having a place to share, to be accountable, to study the Bible together, to talk about why it is that I get addicted, to become more emotionally aware and intelligent to know the triggers. Uh, I need other people to help me to do that. And other addicts are very good at knowing when you are trying to pull the wool over their eyes, they can read through the lies and deceit that all addicts tend to get into. Um, so they will call your bluff if you're in the room with someone like that. Um, so some churches, um, we've been, I've been hearing about a wonderful church in Serbia that has a rehab program attached for alcohol, for heroin addicts, um, and uh, having a wonderful influence in just this sort of program. And, and many of the men have become Christians through that program too. Um, and uh, so there are a lot of elements in it. It's hard work. It's a deep discipline. But it is absolutely transformative. Um, and to continue with an addiction is a profoundly destructive thing. Your body, your brain, your relationships, everything. And you see some men ending up in, on the street with nothing. 